Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, we'll see how to install the uh, MacTech distribution and uh, the TechMaker IDE for the LACIC documentation. And uh, the operating system we'll be using is uh, Microsoft Windows. And uh, I think the procedure is fairly the same in other operating system, but with some minor adjustments. So in Windows, uh, we'll be uh, demonstrating how to install the software. Uh, from the um, Protex, um, I mean, from the previous video, you might, uh, might have downloaded this particular uh, uh, package, I mean, a particular folder, and I've just extracted uh, uh, them in the um, folder called Protex, and it has got uh, numerous files. And the first thing will be uh, this setup. Click the setup, and it will take us to, I'll just close this. For a moment and this will take us a small dialog box and um, uh, if you have any difficulty in uh, installing and uh, you can uh, you can open this uh, manual and you can see uh, the installation uh, the process is given uh, step by step so it has got uh, screenshots of how you install them and uh, some of the uh, important things you should do it i mean the prerequisite you should satisfy and so on so um i'll close this and i'll just demonstrate um i'm not going to change anything in the document so i'm just i've closed it and i'll just uh, install it before i install it i'll just give a quick caution like uh, i recommend you to uh, install mictech first and followed by techmaker uh, in fact, we'll not be using this older version of TechMaker. So we have downloaded the uh, new version of TechMaker here. So I recommend you to install this TechMaker. But however, uh, you should install MicTech first and followed by TechMaker. There is no um, wrong if you install TechMaker and followed by uh, installation of MicTech, but uh, installing the package uh, then installation of IDE holds uh, really good. So there won't be any uh, discrepancies later on so the process is like the mictech first and followed by the techmaker x uh, uh, the install uninstallation of uh, both these uh, duck uh, and softwares is also fairly the same like uh, in this video we will uh, install the uh, software uh, we will also demonstrate the uninstallation process as many people requested like uh, uninstall also an important issues like in case if they have to uh, upgrade to a higher version of the uh, Protex they generally do uninstall or they might update the packages so those things will be dealt a little later in this uh, course but uh, as of now we'll be installing the uh, MicTech package so I'm gonna press install and it'll ask me for the um, confirmation yes I'm going to install it so I'll just keep it side by side so you can see this. Uh, the version is 2.9.3, probably like um, 32 bit. Um, probably like um, uh, when you download it, the version might be a uh, different or the higher versions available, or you, depending upon your system, it might uh, install in a 64 bit. And in my system, it installs in 32 bit, but however, uh, that doesn't make much sense uh, in terms of installation. Uh, but uh, the computational speed, I mean, the compilation speed might vary, but however, this is the default. It will automatically take the uh, default, um, I mean, default provisions. Um, next, uh, uh, the two things called basic MicTech and it's called complete MicTech. I recommend install complete MicTech because uh, basic will have only the basic elements and complete is almost all the packages uh, in the MicTech gets installed in your computer. It might be uh, occupying a lot of space, but it's worth a try because you'll be installing it for one time. So I recommend you to do a complete MicTech. And click next and uh, it say MicTech is available for anyone who uses the computer or only me um, I just say like anyone because nobody uses my laptop but however like if it's an laboratory computer or a public computer so it be recommended uh, that you just don't make any changes in these uh, default uh, unless otherwise you require and I'm just gonna wait next then it installs in my program file uh, 36, I mean x86 uh, slash mictech 2.9. So it will make a folder called mictech 2.9. 
and uh, you can even change the um, directory but I just wanted to keep it in the default C drive so I'm going to click next and this is very important so preferred package is A4 or letter so I recommend A4 because most of the academic documents will get printed in an A4 uh, paper so A4 will be the preferred paper and this is very important install missing packages on the fly so which means that uh, there are three options called S, No, and Ask Me First. So when you click S, and uh, if there's any package is missing in your document or compilation, and if you have an internet, so this will find the uh, missing package in the uh, CTAN, which we have discussed early, and uh, it will automatically update in your uh, MIGTEC programming distribution. And uh, there's another thing you will know, which means it doesn't do that, or you have to manually do it. Or there's another one which I feel is the uh, default and also and very important is called Ask Me First. Uh, so it will prompt me that something is missing, so I could see that in the warning message, like uh, package is missing and so on. And I'm gonna click uh, next, then uh, I'm gonna give a start, so it does kind of an installing uh, process and it starts now I think it takes quite a long time so installation really takes a lot of time because it will look into a lot of packages in the database and it's update and it actually extract and update so for example it's say extracting then incorporating I mean installing so you see MS math font uh, that will be using for uh, the equations and all so you can see a lot of uh, uh, packages, lot of class files, like a uh, lot of uh, uh, the other important stuff. Like uh, we'll be discussing more on the uh, class files and packages in the later on. But as of now, this is the uh, installation process, and uh, it, it takes a lot of time. So I pause the video now. So I'll come back to the uh, end of the installation process. And here we are in the uh, final uh, stage of the installation process and installation of MIGTEC package and uh, it is compiling, I mean it is extracting files and copying to the uh, designated folder and probably I think probably this is the uh, last few steps that's uh, uh, I think file name database and format files are getting copied uh, to the respective locations in the C drive where we have installed the uh, MIGTEC or we have uh, put in our location for the uh, MIGTEC file and once this compiles then I mean once it installs then uh, probably we'll install TechMaker uh, you can install this uh, older version of TechMaker, I mean the TechMaker X by the same procedure, say install. But I recommend um, you, we'll be uh, using uh, the uh, current version of the TechMaker or in fact is the uh, modern version of the TechMaker. I think that will be uh, fairly uh, appropriate and it has got additional uh, features. So. We don't miss any of those um, by uh, ins uninstalling uh, um, the latest by installing the latest version. But if you install the older version, uh, some of the functionalities we may not be uh, able to access, and that's one disadvantage of uh, installing uh, the older version of the uh, TechMaker. And older version of the TechMaker will have uh, some limitations. Um, uh, that will be rectified uh, when we use the um, the uh, higher end version. I think uh, I'll pass video one more time because it takes quite a long time because at the end it com it takes uh, few uh, but there's only few steps left but it takes uh, yeah I think it's you don't have to pass I think it's over yeah here it is it's compiled. Uh, it took uh, some 10 plus minutes, so but it's worth the time because uh, it's a huge package. Um, there's a lot of uh, uh, components, uh, thing 2000 plus components, so it gets installed. So I'll just press next. Um, I, it says completing the MIGTEC setup is set, and I'm gonna plus, click OK. And uh, as I said, I will not be installing this, and I'm gonna give exit. So let's take a look at the C drive and program file 36 and uh, probably yes here it is MIGTEC 2.9 
and uh, this is the uh, documents um, so we'll come back to this a little later so stuff now just close this file next step is uh, installing the uh, tech maker so I'm gonna go to tech maker so I'll just select this it will prompt me uh, I think uh, to accept this license version then install uh, close this for a moment I think it will not take much time uh, it's an IDE and it's a powerful and simple IDE um, for compiling lactic documents and uh, it has got a lot of features as I said like uh, the version we use is TechMaker 5.0.3 and this is 64 bit so the MCTEC package is 32 bit but that doesn't make much uh, difference um, in terms of compatibility um, takes quite a long time I think it is uh, checking the uh, prerequisites or uh, just checking the uh, compatibility uh, with the system I mean with the operating system and the computer yes here it is it's asking me the confirmation yes yeah quickly it doesn't take so much time so as I said like it is validating the installation and updating component reg registry and copying new files and I think this is, this is the final step um, once that is there and uh, just say launch uh, TechMaker and set up complete so, um, I don't know how to do that now so I'll just finish and if you see in the desktop uh, there is a shortcut uh, I could able to see uh, the uh, shortcut and um, this completes the installation process of TechMaker as well and uh, we have uh, holistically completed the um, installation process of the uh, MCTEC package distribution and followed by the uh, TechMaker. In the next video we will see uh, the um, uh, we will just take a document and compile it quickly to uh, get a feel of uh, how do we make use of the uh, installed uh, softwares. Okay so that's it uh, from now and thank you for listening and see you next lecture.